Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are gonna do a reading vlog for 24 hours. This is not gonna be a consecutive 24 hours as I do have a full-time job, but I did this last year where I did a full 24 hours, but I just broke it up and I would time myself each time I read to see how many books I could read until I got to the 24 hour mark. So that's what we're gonna be doing this week. I'm going to start out with this book. It's called The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros. Juliana, one of my book friends, introduced me to this book and she loved it so much. So I immediately ordered it when she posted it on her Instagram. I have been in a tiny mini slump and I'm looking for like a five star read. So hopefully this can be it. Fingers crossed. This book is about two guys in the army. They're best friends. One of them doesn't make it. That's basically what it says on the back of the book. And he has a younger sister named Ella who has two twins that she's raising alone. And he asks his best friend, Becky, it to basically go take care of Ella, help her out because she's lost a lot recently. And I've heard this book is really sad, but also really good. And I love those kind of books. Anything like Archer's Voice, Say Swear, anything where it's very heartfelt, but has a great story to it, I love. So I'm excited to read this. But again, I think my heart will be ripped out. But yeah, we are going to start this little 24 hour challenge, see how many books I can read within 24 hours. I will time it for you guys so you can see throughout how many pages I read. And of course, when I get to the 24 hours how many books I have read. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and we are going to start this 24 hour reading challenge. guys it's monday it's almost six o'clock i just got home from work and showered immediately it felt so gross but i wanted to update you on how we're doing on our 24 hour challenge we're doing pretty well we're at two hours and 15 minutes right now this is including last night and then what i've read today i read up to chapter 23 in haunting adeline last night definitely like just such a crazy story there's a lot of twists and turns in it so that's been good to read and then i started the last letter i'm in the middle of a chapter but i'm on page 60 right now. I love this book so much so far. I think it's exactly what I needed to kind of get out of my little mini slum and it has a very sad story but I honestly really love those stories. I feel like most of the romances I've rated five stars have gravitated towards like very sad emotional heartfelt stories and this is exactly what this is. So I've been loving this so far. I'm excited to read more of it. I think I'm gonna get through this book pretty quickly because I love it so far so that's very exciting for me it's basically about ella her brother is in the army and her parents and grandparents have passed away she doesn't really have any family left she has some people that support her but she has no close family left besides her brother her brother has this best friend named beckett in the army the brother ends up passing away which is super sad but her brother writes this last letter that goes to beckett after he passes away it says basically that you need to go to colorado and take care of my sister she has two twins one is sick right now and so you need to watch after her so i'm at a point where beckett goes to colorado and he starts staying at this lodge that ella owns but ella doesn't know that beckett is the one that she's been writing a little backstory they have basically been pen pals and have written like 20 something letters to one another back and forth just kind of talking and getting to know one another. Beckett comes to her lodge and she doesn't know that it's him. He tells her that he was friends with her brother in the army and her brother wrote this note to him to tell him to come watch after her but he doesn't say that he's the one that's been writing her because he has like a code name when he's been writing so she doesn't know. But that's where I'm at right now so we have two hours and 15 minutes ish done right now so I feel like things are going pretty well. I'm gonna go eat dinner, kind of chill out, and then I'll read more tonight. So we'll see how much more time we can get in tonight. But I'm very excited about this book. Hopefully I continue to love it. I will update you guys as I go on with my hours and we'll see how many I have by tomorrow. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and I'll update you guys again once I start my timer and read later. Hi 
Hi guys, I'm getting really raw with you right now because I have pimple stuff all over my face. I've been breaking out so bad, but that's besides the point. I just wanted you to know what that stuff is on my face. It's six o'clock right now on Tuesday. We're at four hours and 36 minutes. I read only two chapters of Haunting Adeline last night. I'm just going through this one very slowly. Again, only read it at night, so I'm getting through it slowly. I wouldn't say dark romance is for me necessarily. I'll definitely finish this book, but I don't think I would ever like go to pick up another dark romance. It's just like very very extreme for me. This book, on the other hand, I am literally obsessed with it. I just want to sit down and read it right now because it's so good and I'm so happy because I've been dying to find a book that I'm like obsessed with again because it's been a while since I've been like obsessed, obsessed with a book. It is very kid heavy. So I know a lot of people don't like kids in books, but I really don't mind it. The kids in this book are twins. They're, one's a boy and one's a girl and I love them. They're the cutest. They're six years old, so they're very young, but one of them is going through a very very hard time. I'm not going to give it away because it's kind of a spoiler, but they're just really cute and they have like a great little sibling relationship. So Beckett is kind of just like helping out with the kids and their relationship is kind of forming. Nothing has happened between them right now, but they're just building like a really great friendship right now. I'm obsessed with them. I love Beckett. He's like the kindest, most helpful, generous man ever. I'm obsessed. And Ella as well. Like I'm obsessed with her. She's 25. She's still pretty young, had kids really young. He's basically just helping her out kind of trying to win her over right now it's giving me five star feels right now so we're not even halfway through but i'm obsessed so i'm gonna read more of the last letter tonight again i'm at four hours and 36 minutes we're doing okay i need to get some more reading in today but yeah just wanted to give you guys a little update again sorry about my face this is real life i will check back in with you guys once i read again Hi guys, it is Thursday night. It's almost six o'clock. I wanted to update you guys. I didn't talk to you guys yesterday, but I kind of filmed where I was at in my hours. Right now I'm at eight hours and 28 minutes out of my 24 hours. So we have a long way to go and it's Thursday. I kind of wanted to accomplish this within a week, but we'll see if that actually happens because I'm a little bit behind. I'm still going between Haunting Adeline and The Last Letter. I'm almost done with The Last Letter. I think I have a little over a hundred pages. It's still so good. There has been a big twist that Ella is finding out right now so that's kind of turned things around a bit but nothing like crazy bad has happened and I'm a little scared that it's going to turn into that but we'll see and then Haunting Adeline honestly I'm a little bit like tuned out of it it's such a long book it's very smutty which obviously like that I knew I was getting that I like a little bit but this is overwhelming to the point where I'm like oh my gosh another chapter of this another chapter of this we'll eventually get through it within this 24 hours but it's definitely not my favorite we'll see when I can accomplish this 24 hours but i'll check in with you guys again when i pick up a book i'll let you guys know how i'm doing all my hours but that's a little update also i know this is random but this is your sign to buy uggs before they sell out i know everyone says this but i actually listen this time because i know they're gonna sell out this year and so i got these i'm so obsessed i've never had these slippers before i also did not want the platforms usually i'm a platform girl but i got the regular ones because i've just heard the platform ones like slip off of you but they're so cute. So this is your sign to go get a pair of Uggs so they don't sell out. It's now Saturday. I didn't read anything on Friday and I haven't read anything today, but I'm about to sit down and read some. I'm still at eight hours and 33 minutes. I'm definitely not gonna complete the 24 hour challenge thing within a week, but that's okay. We're still going to keep going until I hit it. I'm about to finish the last letter. So I think I'll finish this one tonight and then start a new one. And then obviously I'm still reading Haunted Adeline because I haven't picked up books since Thursday. But I just wanted to give you guys an update that I'm going to sit down and read now and try to finish the last letter. So I really want to know what happens and I'm excited to finish it and then I'll let you guys know when I pick another book because I need to look through my August TBR and pick one from there. We're gonna finish this up right now. I'll let you guys know my final thoughts and ratings on it once I do and then we'll pick a new book. Hi 
I am so unwell. I've been bawling my eyes out. I'm not done, but I'm almost done. It just ripped my heart out. It's just great. I will update you guys more when I get myself together because I am unwell right now. Hi guys, happy Sunday. It is two o'clock right now and the Chiefs are playing. So I need to go back downstairs because if you don't know, I am an avid, avid Chiefs fan. I have been my entire life. My whole family has been. So I just can't miss a game. It's very important to me. But I finished the last letter yesterday. And as you could tell, like the last clip I filmed, I was bawling my eyes out and it got even worse after that. And I really liked the book. I really, really, really liked it. I don't think I'm going to rate it five stars. I think I'm going to give it a 4.5 because as much as I loved it, there honestly was way too much tragedy in it. Like to the point where it seemed unrealistic because there was so much tragedy happening one after another after another. And it was really sad. It like really broke my heart. So I'm going to give it a 4.5. But honestly, if you haven't read this book, I definitely recommend it. And then I also read a few chapters of Haunting Adeline last night. So we are at 10 hours and 34 minutes right now. It's honestly been a slow reading week for me. I just asked you guys on my Instagram story what my next read should be. The two books I put up were The Guest List, which I do have to read this month for my book club, or Meet Me at the Lake. And you guys chose Meet Me at the Lake. So I'm going to read this one first. Again, I've heard very mixed reviews about this one and more on the negative side than the positive. So I'm a little nervous going into this, but I really liked Every Summer After by Kali Fortune. So I'm excited to try this out. But again, like I haven't heard the best thing. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to start reading this right now and then I'll update you guys how far I get. We're literally not even halfway yet. This is taking way longer than I expected it to take, but that's okay. We will get it done eventually. But wanted to update you guys and I'll check back in with you later once I've read a little bit of Meet Me at the Lake and I'll let you guys know what I think. Hi guys, long time, no update. I literally haven't recorded this entire week and updated you guys. I have been in a bit of a slump, I'm not gonna lie. I actually have gotten through a little bit of reading, but I haven't had the urge to read lately. So it's been a very long time trying to get through this video. It is literally six days later, I think after I filmed. So I haven't filmed this whole week, but I have been reading some. We're up to 17 and a half hours almost. I still have quite a few hours left, but I'm trying to finish this video as fast as as I can because I really want to get it up for you guys. I'm almost done with Meet Me at the Lake. So this is the book I've been reading all week and I haven't updated you guys at all about it, but I'm on page 263. So I literally have like 40 pages left. Don't get me wrong. I think it's cute, but it's just like not an awesome book in my opinion. I just don't think it has like the best storyline to it. So it's a cute book. I think at this moment I would give it like a three, but I have like 40 pages left. So we'll see what happens. I definitely liked Every Summer After better than this book. I'm still reading Haunting Adeline believe it or not it's been like a whole month if not longer of reading Haunting Adeline. I'm almost done with that book as well so I'll probably finish that one up tomorrow if not tonight as well. I'm kind of in a reading mood tonight so I want to read while I'm in this mood because I have been in quite the little slump lately but you guys have helped me on Instagram with your encouraging words because I've told you about my slump but anyway that's what's been going on this entire week. I've been reading a little bit off and on but I still have quite a few hours to get in before we get to the 24 hours but let's finish Meet Me at the Lake, get a little bit more time in and then I'll update you guys on what I'm gonna read next but let's go read <laughs> It's now Sunday and I just finished Meet Me at the Lake. It was really cute. I liked the story, but it just wasn't special to me. It didn't really stand out. And I thought it was just so unrealistic that they met 10 years ago like one day and then they came back together 10 years later and kind of like hit it off right away. I just thought it was kind of strange that they had met one time in their life, but overall I thought it was cute. I think I'd give it a 3.5. Like it definitely wasn't a bad book. In my opinion, I know a lot of people didn't like this book, but I thought it was cute overall, just not my favorite, but I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I'm at almost 19 and a half hours now. I read some of Haunting Adeline last night too, and I'm going to finish that today. Not that much left and I need to finish it. I'm sick of reading it to be honest. It's not for me. I just don't like dark romance and that it is what it is, but I want to finish it because I'm almost done. So I'm going to do that and then I'll still have some hours left. So I'm going to pick out another book for my August TBR. We're almost there. It's been a long journey, but I'm finally finishing it up. So we're going to get this done today. I'll check back in with you guys once I pick a new book and let you know what I decide on. Okay, it's 
Sunday night. It's like 7 40 I think right now and I just finished Haunting Adeline. I was reading it with my girlfriend and we both finished it. It's not for me. It's just not for me. It's not it. I think I would give it like a two star personally. I hated Dark Romance. I don't know if I would ever read another one again. But that's just my personal opinion. I didn't like it and that's totally fine but I finished it and we're over 20 hours now. I want to say like close to 21 hours so I have just a little bit of time left. I'm going to start the guest list because I am a part of like a local book club here that meets up and this is our book of the month and we have a meeting next week so I just want to like get into this book finish it before we meet up so I think I'm gonna start this one I'm not gonna finish it in this video but I just wanted to show you guys the book that I'm going to finish off my 24 hours with so that's what I'm gonna be doing the rest of the night but I'll show you when I hit 24 hours and I hope you guys enjoyed this it took me so long to get through the 24 hours I feel like it usually wouldn't take me this long but as you could kind of see I was in a slump the past two weeks a little bit so it took me quite a bit longer than usual but that's okay we are gonna hit the 24 hours and i'll show you guys the clip once i do but i hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video